have you ever been jealous before? Before you say anything, let me answer for you. Yes. Maybe it was when you were in primary school and it was prize giving day and one guy was winning all the awards and in your mind you're like, ah, ah, what is his own? Or you're two girlfriends and one handsome man comes along and instead of asking you out, he chooses your friend and you're like, ah, ah, what does she have that I don't have? That is jealousy. Brothers and sisters, as Christians, we are not allowed to be jealous. The truth is that jealousy comes when you compare what you have with someone else's own. And you have to look into your life, see what God has done, and be content with the work of God in your life. Be content with what He has done and give Him thanks for what He has done. For adventure, you want more from God, ask Him, but you are not allowed to look into someone else's life and begin to desire what they have. These are the three steps to overcome jealousy. Number one, be grateful to God for your life. Trace the hand of God in your life and give him all the praise and all the glory for it. Be conscious of his work in your life. Number two, you have to grow up and learn to be genuinely happy for others when they make it. Yes, I know you're trusting for your child. Yes, I know you're trusting for your husband. Yes, I know you're trusting for that big contract. Yes, I know you want a car. And somebody else gets it, you know what you should do. Praise God for them. Go to them, celebrate with them. And if God says, sow a seed into their lives, ensure that you rid yourself of every form of jealousy and envy. It's the work you have to do for yourself. Number three, don't company with jealous people. The Bible says, they that compare themselves with one another are unwise, aka they are foolish people. And I'm sure you don't want to be in that category. You have any friend who is always talking about, oh, this person, oh, that person, cut them off. Praise God. God bless you. And stop being jealous.